What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Now, um, this is the Easter special. Um, you know it's Easter, so yeah, I thought why not show my um gospel movie collection? I probably did this a while back. I'm not sure. So yeah, this is Easter. I thought why not show y'all my gospel movie collection? Um, just to let everybody know, I'm not debating religion or anything else. That's y'all's belief. That's everybody's like belief. That's y'all's belief. So, um, yeah, but besides the point, like this is um. This is an Easter special, so that's why I'm going to show you my complete um, gospel movie collection. Um, and, yeah, um, and this is pretty much Jesus' day, God's day. So, it's on a Sunday, for sure day, Sunday, yeah. Um, and, yeah, so let's get right into this gospel movie collection. Now, we're going to start off with Son of God. Now, this I saw this in theaters a while back, um, like a few years ago. When it first came out, and I enjoyed this film quite a bit. Um, you learn it's a long movie; it's like two hours or something, probably almost three hours, and it's a really entertaining movie. Um, and it's a really good movie. Like it's, I loved it from beginning to end. Um, you learn about Jesus' life, of course, and um, it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. If y'all hadn't seen it, if y'all love gospel movies and y'all have not seen it, y'all should definitely, definitely check it out. It's it's really worth watching, so I love it, um, Son of God. Next we have Jesus, one of the Jesus movies. Um, and this is sort of like this, you know, both of them are kind of alike, but you know, they have different stories in it. This one's probably longer, I think. Um, and yeah, I enjoy this film quite a bit. Um, it's really sad, both these movies are really sad, like it's hard not to tear up during these films. <clears throat> during these type of films, especially the endings of them, um, yeah, you know, like Jesus died on the cross and stuff like that, it's really, really heartbreaking when you watch it, um, and both those films are good, like, if you have not seen this one, you should definitely check it out, also, um, this is really worth watching, I love it too, next we have Left Behind, um, you know, I didn't like the remake at all, but I do like Left Behind 1, 2, and 3, which is, I don't have the third Left Behind movie, which is, I gotta look for that somewhere, but, yeah, Left Behind's about the end times and stuff, um, about Jesus coming back, and this stuff's supposed to happen one day, we don't know yet, but, yeah, um, Left Behind's a really well done movie, um, yeah, Left Behind, a great film, um, like, it, it's pretty much about the end times, you know, um, it's really good, then I got Left Behind 2, um, this is also really good. Both of these films are probably equally the same. My favorite one's the third one, but I just don't have it. Um, it's, that one's hard to find, but yeah, Left Behind 2, I enjoyed it. Um, equally the same as the first one. Um, you know, they, they also show the Antichrist, you know, the devil's son that's supposed to be president one day in the film, but yeah, um, it's, it's pretty interesting. They're interesting movies. Um, I thought they had a great story and stuff. I love them. Next, we have Risen. This takes place after Jesus' death. Literally, this that's what this movie takes place on. After Jesus' death. And um, and it's really cool. It's like you could watch a bunch of gospel movies and not even read the Bible and still know all about God. Jesus and God. Like You could actually watch all these movies now and know all about them. Because you got movies of how the world got created now. About like how God created the earth and all that stuff. You got movies about that. Like a long movie about it. And you got like you know movies like this. That takes place after Jesus' death. And you can actually watch movies and learn all about Jesus. Like literally. You can actually watch movies now and learn all about Jesus. And um, and it's more. You can understand it more when you watch the movies too. And I thought it was pretty neat. And Risen is a great movie. Um. It's entertaining from beginning to end. I remember when I saw this in theaters. I enjoyed it. Um, it's a really good movie. I love it. So, yeah, Risen. I love it. If you haven't seen it, y'all should definitely check it out. And this guy right here, he didn't believe in God at first. But when he saw, like, he believed his own type of God of his own religion. But when he saw Jesus himself, he's like, I don't believe in nothing anymore. It's crazy. Um, and then he ends up seeing Jesus himself. It's crazy, like, I'm I'm not trying to spoil too much of this film if you haven't seen it. Y'all should definitely check it out, it's a good movie. Next, we have The Young Messiah. 
Now, this is about Jesus when he was a kid. Like, this is kid Jesus, about Jesus when he was a kid and stuff. And this film is really good. Really good. Um, Really good. Like, if you haven't seen this film, you should definitely also check this film out. Um, The Young Messiah. I loved it. I love this film a lot. And when I bought it, I watched it, like, constantly times. Um, constantly. And... Yeah, this film was pretty big when it first came out in theaters, um, and stuff. Yeah, I enjoyed The Young Messiah, and this is the first time they ever made a movie, like a full movie, about Jesus as a kid, I'm pretty sure, and, and stuff. I told you, like, you could watch a bunch of Jesus movies, like, you could watch the movies about it, and still know everything about God, Jesus and God, or at least almost everything about him, um, and it's like you don't even got to read the Bible, but, you know, if, it's like if you don't know how to read or nothing, you can just watch the movies and know all about them, you know? But, yeah, um, I like The Young Messiah. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Now, next we have um, Heaven's Door. I remember when I bought this at Dollar Tree, um, and, like, a few years back, um, I thought this film was okay. It wasn't the best movie, but I thought it was, you know, decent. Um, I could still watch it again. Um, yeah, it's, some parts it's a little emotional, but, yeah, Heaven's Door, it ain't the greatest movie ever, but I still consider it as a good movie. It ain't the greatest, but, yeah, I did get it from Dollar Tree, so, Heaven's Door, it's a good Christian movie, gospel movie, and if you haven't seen it, y'all should definitely check it out, you know, it's, it's alright to me. Next, we have... War Room. There's another movie I saw in the theater. Um, this film was amazing. It's emotional at times. It had a great, great story. And, like, the story in this film is great, you know? I'm not trying to go too much into detail or nothing like that because there's so much to talk about in this film. Um, like, all I gotta say is, if you haven't seen War Room, y'all should definitely check it out, it's a good gospel movie, and, um, yeah, I enjoy this film quite a bit, so, War Room. Next, we have God's Not Dead. Now, you know, people debate with these religions sometimes, which is stupid, people shouldn't debate, people got their own beliefs, so, yeah, um, God's Not Dead, and God's Not Dead 2, God's Not Dead a Light and Darkness, you know, all three God's Not Dead movies. I enjoy all of them. And which one's my favorite? I would say probably the first one, but I still enjoy all of them, you know. My favorite is probably the first one. Um, and God's Not Dead 1, 2, and 3, amazing films. Um, if you haven't seen this trilogy, this is like a great gospel trilogy. That y'all, it's a must watch if y'all love gospel movies. Um, because all the stories basically connect together. Um, you know, the main character in the first one is not in the second one, but he comes back in the third one. Um, yeah, um, so these films have emotional, like, a, so, some parts of the story is emotional in these films, in Guys Like Dead 1, 2, and 3. Um, yeah, I enjoy all three of them. And I remember when I saw the trailer for, for Guys Like Dead Light and Darkness. Um, I love the trailer, and the trailer didn't blow up. It's probably because people don't, a lot of people don't watch gospel movies a lot, but, you know, if I don't have church, if I don't go to church, sometimes I would probably, I would put in a gospel movie or something, like I might put in one today because of Easter weekend, so, um, I might as well, you know, um, watch all these films today, so. Yeah, um, if you haven't seen them, y'all should definitely, definitely check these out. Um, definitely, because I love all three of them. Great trilogy. And this, I think, that, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the first time we ever got a gospel trilogy. Wait, we did get another trilogy, Left Behind trilogy. But, yeah, um, I love these films a lot. And Gods of Dead 1, 2, and 3, amazing films. If you haven't seen them, y'all should definitely, definitely check them out. Because... Um, <clears throat> they're really good, like, I saw the first one and the second one in the theater, but I didn't get a chance to see Cause of Dead Light and Darkness in the theater. I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance to, 
because it didn't play around where I was at. <clears throat> so yeah, and these films are really good. So I guess that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share, and also hit the bell so you know when new videos upload. Now um and happy Easter to everybody. Now peace out, and that's it for this video. I'm out. Peace.